episode of Beers, Bourbon, Whiskey, man. Everybody loves BBW. Uh, we back in the building with the same squad, man. I got my man Square in the building. What's cracking? Got my man Classic Pothead holding it down. Smoking. Angry Principal. What's up? My man Bo <laughs> holding it down. I say. And of course, man, your boy Q Lewis holding it down live. From the 48205, man, we about to, we got a little throwback, a sort of a throwback, dog, to, uh, what was that, 2012? It's been a while. 13, maybe, maybe 2013, dog. Um, we got a, uh, is it a whiskey or a bourbon? I don't even it's remember. Bourbon. It's bourbon. bourbon? It's okay. bourbon whiskey. All right, bet. So, we got a uh, bourbon, it's a throwback, man, from uh, back in D.C. It's called a filibuster. <laughs> Filler, that shit's just funny to me. Uh, but anyway, uh, first time we had this was uh, out in D.C. Uh, like I said, I think it was 2013, I was out there. I'm actually hosting a uh, national award show, man. Shout out to, uh, damn, what did I just say it was? <laughs> about the editor? Yes, shout out to the Spoken Word Billboard Awards, dog. And, and the founder, uh, Miss Michelle Alford. Uh, shout out to her and the whole organization, dog. Um, hopefully, that'll be back around this year since uh, maybe we'll be over COVID. I'm not sure. But anyway, uh, I was out there doing the uh, award show, and we had this, and it was a... Uh, in D.C., we couldn't find it anywhere else, so we thought it was something local to out there. So then recently, you found it actually out here in Michigan, right? Yeah, I just happened to be at a store looking just to see what they had. and Because uh, you know how Michigan is limited to what we actually get. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. I'm looking, I see filler bus. I'm like, whoa, I can't right. believe it. It was actually here it was now. Because it, it had not been since 2013. You didn't like that. Seen it. You didn't like that limited access, huh? I do not <laughs> like that. They need to do something about that also. <laughs> Limited access, That's, huh? Yeah, we talking about liquor, not Yeah, I know, yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> y'all had to, y'all had to catch our behind the scenes joint to know what we're talking about. But anyway, go ahead. <laughs> uh, so yeah, uh, I caught the filibuster, and the uh, this one is the single barrel at 115.2 proof, mm -hmm. straight bourbon whiskey. Uh, is we had it in DC. Yep. I bought it on a joke because I, I thought it was just funny to see a. Um, Bourbon called filibuster, considering we were in DC. In DC, exactly. I just thought it was a, a joke kind of thing, but then we started sipping it and it we no destroyed joke. that bottle uh, that night. So I had always said, okay, oh, hey, next time I go towards the uh, DC area, Virginia area, mm -hmm. I'm going to pick up another bottle. For sure. And just by happenstance, I happened to walk through the store and see the filibuster bottle there, and I decided yeah. to go ahead and pick up a <laughs> bottle now, that. And barrel by Sid. Thanks, Sid. Appreciate you, bro. All right, good looking out, Sid. <laughs> Appreciate it, Sid. Now, um, too, I think I, I mentioned this when you brought it in, is that when we had it in, in D.C., like, the bottle was completely different. Yeah, they've changed up the marketing the label completely. label, everything, yeah. yeah. Even on the uh, website, it's uh, completely different yeah. than it was before. Because mm -hmm. uh, I... I Maybe I somebody bought them out or something. I to see if they were selling it in Michigan. Mm -hmm. And uh, I hadn't checked in a couple of years, but uh, all of a sudden it popped up here. Yeah. So I'm glad that Michigan at least has access to it. Right, yeah. for sure. That's what's up, though. So I'm uh, I'm kind of excited to see what it's going to taste like. So let's go ahead and pop it up and let's see what this cork sounded like today. Mm. Yeah. It wasn't like the Maker's Mark, though. Yeah. <laughs> Plus, maybe it's the cork. Cork might be a little more dense. And uh, let's see uh, let's see what this is talking about here. And if you're checking us out right now, uh, there's a little bit more. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta get it. All right, that's cool. All right, so if you're checking us out right now, also I'll go ahead and throw that into the camera here. Uh, we're drinking out of uh, glasses from V's Mobile Bar. So make sure you check out V's Mobile Bar. Uh, available on IG and uh. I like her. She got glasses, and she's actually a mobile bar. Them drinks the truth too. Drinks Ooh. are the truth for sure. Boy, about one and a half of them boys. <laughs> it's over. It's over. It's not a. It's not a strong. It's not a strong nose on this one. Yeah, like, it's not, not a strong nose, but I yeah. get butterscotch when I'm smelling it. I feel like I'm supposed to be eating a cookie. <laughs> yeah, now that you mention it. That, that candy. Yeah. Right. Is <laughs> <a little laughs> original. <laughs> Not a strong scent. I gotta taste it now. I'm just yeah. damn Can a lot. Take you back to that first time you had it. Yes. Yeah. Brown sugar. Mm. I was. Just, it's a lot sweeter than I thought it was gonna be because yeah. you can't smell it. You can't smell the sweetness. It's definitely, it's definitely like. Uh, There's not a lot, a lot on the nose, but that brown sugar comes. through. That brown sugar, like, like kind of like glasses, yeah. brown yeah, sugar. Like, yeah, man, it is, mm. it is real prominent on the taste. <coughs> uh oh, got that good uh -oh. cough. <laughs> that good cough. Let's take that good cough. Yeah. And see, all right. So this is, I like this. 
Not it, strong enough, but great taste. Yeah, it's a great taste, and it's not a, it's not a hell of a bite at the end. It's not like a real tough. What would you hug. compare it to? Um, I wouldn't. It wouldn't. Right, it's I, kind of a kind of unique, huh? Yeah. It is really unique because it's on the sweeter side, but strong. Mm. You know, and everything else that we've tasted always had that barrel char. No, I'm gonna tell stuff. you. I'm gonna tell you what it's similar to, dog. Uh, it's it's Bro Brothers with a little a little bit more like twinge at the end. Okay. Because okay. you know, how Bro Brothers is kind of <laughs> is sweeter. You know what I'm saying? It's a sweeter taste. Um, I think this has a little more bite at the end though. Okay. But I think that's probably the most comparable. I go probably go okay. Old Forest and Prohibition style. Mm -hmm. It's kind of in that that vein. Okay. Uh, if you've ever had it. Uh, is that the? You know what I'm talking about? Or is that that's not that one? The 1892? Not that one. No, that's, that's the bottom of the bottom. Right, right, right. Style is the oh, original yeah. one that they had. Uh, the uh -huh. original recipe that they had during Prohibition. Mm -hmm. So it's a little really? higher barrel proof. Yeah. So it, it kind of gives you that kind of taste, but that brown sugar, that molasses, that that sweetness, that is really coming mm -hmm. through in the taste. It's, yeah. It's really good. It's good. This is actually I don't I don't remember it being this good. So I don't. We didn't have this higher proof. No, either, we though. had the uh, one that was a. It was like a ninety, yeah. 90 proof. But this one this is shit fire. Fifteen, but this is really, really good. <laughs> this shit fire. I like this, dog. Thank you for coming to Michigan. We nah, appreciate for it. real. Um, shit, square. What you think, dog? I know why you. Was, why was it limited here? I don't know. They weren't selling it at all. Yes. It Michigan, probably, Michigan's weird. Michigan is strange with its <laughs> distribution of alcohol. Uh, most states will get more access to different brands and different versions of the brands than we get. Because we have North, like Midwest type stuff? Or something? Yeah. No, it's just Michigan government yeah, trying to Michigan regulate area. everything, mm -hmm. trying to make sure they get every dime they can get. Yeah. So, Cause it's like Virginia distillery, yeah. and for whatever reason, they weren't sold everywhere. Like, we can't get both brothers here. Right. You mm -hmm. know, but it's sold in Ohio. Mm -hmm. yeah. So you have to drive down Toledo so you can actually get some bull brothers if you can find it. So, and the, you know, the crazy thing out. about Michigan though is like it's even limited. Like when you having shit shipped, like you can't even have shit shipped here. Like they weird as hell. Like depending on what it is, yeah. yeah depending yeah. on what it is, you can't even get it shipped to Michigan. Like you pull up the list of places they can ship, and Michigan don't ever be on there. Like I don't, I don't know why that shit like that though. So I was on a couple of bourbon sites on IG, and they were showing pictures of Costco having. Pappies and Wellers, She's like, Where all these at? different, all this different stuff. This is actually out in California, right? Definitely in thinking, Michigan. Oh, I'm gonna go buy my Costco, and he's gonna have the same stuff. <laughs> Nowhere near. Wrong. Nowhere near, and it's actually the the choice here in Michigan has not changed yeah. in a long time. Now, Costco is usually on top of their game. Yeah. They trying to they trying to make money, so they are gonna bring in the stuff that's gonna have whiskey drinkers actually buying the alcohol. They always got a gang got of Maker's stuff. Mark and a gang of Larceny. Yeah. I, I got to speak on this since you brought it up. Mm. Pappies. Okay. So I've had Pappies before. Yeah, it, it's good. Is it twelve? But fifteen, eighteen hundred dollars good? I don't think so. Yeah. So I mean, if you if you pressed on having some Pappies, then yeah, I guess go for it or whatnot, you know. But if you get like a regular bottle of Pappies, be ready to pay retail about fifteen hundred for it. You know, depending on what it is, you can also get. Oh, like that's a, not even the markup. That's no, regular. retail. Oh, yeah. no, no, no. Take that back now. If you have, if you go to one of the auctions like down there in Kentucky, mm -hmm. the retail on some packages is seventy nine dollars. Well, it, it depends but on what it is. The secondary it market that hits you. No, but, but That's see, what no, hits you. Not, not even that though, right? Because like, yeah, there is there is a version of packages like that, right? Yeah, right. but as you, not, not even the secondary market though. Like some of their age things or you know single barrel whatever, you know, retail is going to be anywhere from twelve to fifteen hundred. Damn. You know, for for a lot of that, for a lot of their stuff, right? Now, they have different, you know, they have old, uh, I forget what it's called, but like old Rip Van Winkle or some all this other yeah. shit that's a little bit cheaper or whatever. But, uh, yeah, like on the secondary market, it's, yeah, you're right. It's, it's, it's going to get, a, it's gonna get yeah. Yeah, 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 that hell of a markup. So your best bet is to go for your Wellers, but now it's so hard to find, you yeah. can't get a hold of it. So yeah, well, your green right label Wellers is supposed to be $24. That's mm -hmm. the, the special reserve is supposed to be $24. <laughs> you can't get it up you from 200, less than 50 if you find it. <laughs> Damn. The 107 can't get it for less than 80 up here. Mm -hmm. Don't even talk about the blue label foolproof. You talking into the hundreds, and if you're trying to get the 12 year black label, nah, you just ridiculous. So shit, that's probably it. about 70 dollars. Right. It's been so, harder and harder to get too, because like you're even cracking down on some of those Facebook groups and social media groups that kind of yeah. do it, you know, off to the Incognito, side. Yeah. yeah, you know, it, it's getting harder to get it through there, that label, so it's pushing the price up even more, you know, on yeah, the secondary. So that's market. why people up here actually go bourbon hunting and go to different states yeah, so they can yeah, try to find stuff. Yeah, exactly. Because we can't get it up here. Just, so are you paying for the allure of it all more than the actual taste? It sounds like. 
If you go for Pappy, yeah. For right, Pappy. That's, yeah. right now, Pappy, because they they pick the barrels out of a certain rick house in a certain area in a certain yeah. space. It's like, yeah. Yeah. exclusive. It's supposed to be exclusive. Yeah, yeah. you can afford it. Yeah, you know, yeah. treat yourself once, I guess. You know? Yeah. But, like, so I, not, I don't, not so much. It ain't, I, it ain't your I, shit. Yeah. Yeah. Like, even I, even, even I could afford it, like, on a regular basis, I, w- I wouldn't buy it like that. Yeah. Cause, I mean, it was good, but I didn't, like, enjoy it like that, you know? Yeah, because if I pay some money like that, on the strength, if I can afford it or whatever, if I spend some money like that on it, like, I want to be able to say, like, shit, that shit was worth it. Yeah. yeah, you know what yeah. I'm saying? Yeah. If you can't say it's worth it, then, like, I don't know. It might not be worth it. And you say this is in uh, Pennsylvania, you said. This is a Virginia, Virginia uh, distillery. Okay. It's aged two years and eight months, mm-hmm. which it does not taste like a young bourbon. It doesn't. It, it mm-hmm. tastes like it has been matured it's been for aged, much yeah. longer mm-hmm. than that. Right. And I'm glad, I happy, I'm happy that Filibuster actually put all this information on here. Because it lets you know exactly what you're drinking and why you're drinking it. It was barreled at 120 proof. They um, they brought it down to 115.2. You know, it, it's barrel type, 18 months, air dried, uh, barrel by Sid. Once again, shout out to Sid. <laughs> shout uh, out my guy Sid. You know, uh, yeah. but <laughs> it's a uh, mix of corn, rye, and barley. It doesn't give the percentage of each, but mm-hmm. of course we know the corn is going to be more than anything. Sure. But you can tell, you can taste the rye spice on here. Yeah, uh, it's really prominent when you uh, actually taste it. It's, the spice is more on the finish than it is on the actual initial taste. And just speaking of rye, real quick, I did end up having the uh, Traverse City rye, and it was actually pretty good. Yeah. Yeah, I think so. If you're just thinking about that and the, the small amount of rye that's in there, is there any comparison? Because I almost taste a little bit of comparison now that you mentioned the you rye. You can taste it, but it's no, it's nothing no like comparison. Yeah. It's two different profiles. When you have that gotcha. red rye profile, you're talking about a large amount of Larger rye. Larger amount, yeah, in there. true. And this it sounds like it was just a. But you can definitely a, taste it in there. You can taste yeah. the spice in there, especially on the finish. For sure. When you, it just that taste, that spice lingers. That's yeah. what, when you're getting that hug. It's also you can taste the spice. Yeah. At least that's what I'm getting on. Right. Yeah, but it, like I said, the hug is definitely not as, as tough on this one. So I ain't going to lie to you. In between this one and the uh, one we did in the previous episode, the uh, Maker's Mark, I actually like this better. Um, Let's let's try it with some with some water. Yeah. See what happens. Because yeah. this is higher proof than what we had, right? Correct. This is 115. The last one we had was 110. 110, yeah. So, so you said half a cap? <laughs> yeah, if that. So I'm, I'm willing to bet right now. Um, that I don't think that the water is going to change the profile that much. Not like the last one, I don't think. So, what's the retail of this bottle? I think I spent 40 45. Mm. Okay. Yeah, it was in the 40 area. The uh, the butterscotch is stronger, yeah, completely. Yeah. That cream comes through. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I almost want to say some kind of fruit, but I, I want to say grape, but I might be wrong. Mm-hmm. At the back. How you like it with that Connecticut? Oh, shit. I was too busy drinking. <laughs> <laughs> I would guess it's probably a little too light for it. Oh, wow. On the taste, it's the stone fruits, like your apples and your mm. your uh, pears. I'm getting that. It's still a nice amount of burn to it. Don't, yeah. get, don't get me wrong. It, it brought it down a little bit, but not that much. Yeah, not that much. It, it doesn't linger as long. This actually is a good offset, though. I didn't think it would be. But it's just, a, like, it's enough sweetness, and, and this is mellow enough. I don't think it's being overpowered mm-hmm. at all by the drink. Oh, great pairing once you uh, dilute it just a little bit. And actually, I uh, like I, I blew the smoke in there and drank it at the same time, too. So that's, <laughs> that's uh, yeah, I, I, it's a good combination. I think it's a good combination. Um, I'm trying to I'm trying to figure out my, uh, my taste and... Cigars, because I'm not really sure yet. Because there's it's some, uh, it's some darker ones that I like that are a little bolder. You know that I like those, and some lighter ones that that I like too. I haven't found like my go-to. Like, do you, do you guys have a, a go-to like like Maduros or like what what grade of like cigars that you kind of go for? Like, do y'all have like a a, a special one that you, like is a go-to? Kind of like how my go-to for uh. Uh, for bourbons and whiskeys would be like a uh, Buffalo Buffalo Trace. Like, do y'all have a, a go to? Yeah, uh, for me, uh, if I can find them, Andalusian Bull, mm-hmm. or uh, if I can't find those, usually Arturo Fuente for me. Okay. Mm-hmm. What about you, Angry Principal? Rocket Patels mm-hmm. are my always a, a, a excellent go to, and also the uh, Punch 
champion. That's the little stubby boy. Okay. Here, I, I, gotcha. uh, that's my my favorite, of, favorite? All, of, of all of them. But I yeah. just started getting into the uh, the nappy bees. Mm, no, okay. the, the, that's the one we had last week. Oh, that, okay. Yeah, I got you. I got you. That, that one I really do enjoy. So okay. Mm-hmm. But right now the uh, punch champion is my all to. If if it's on my birthday, and I'm smoking a cigar. Mm-hmm. I'm yeah. grabbing the punch champion. There you go. Yeah. That's, that's I, what I'm I tell you what, folks at home too, and man. Emperor's cut. I'm sorry. Oh, that's no, that's yeah, what yeah, I was yeah, gonna yeah, say. Yeah, that yeah, was yeah. that was. I was gonna. That's definitely one. It's dope. That's definitely one. The uh, like, if, if folks are looking to kind of get into cigars too, mm-hmm. and but you're kind of worried about cost because cigars can be expensive depending on what they you get. A good smoke, it's cheap. Probably about six, seven bucks a stick. It's chilling moose. If you, if you haven't had Chilling Moose, go check it out. It, it's cheap, it's affordable, it's a mm-hmm. good smoke. Probably, you know, maybe 45 minutes smoke, or something like that. But yeah. uh, definitely a good brand. Yeah. yeah. Um, like, my, my go-to is, like I said, I, obviously I love the Emperor's Cut, but my go-to, everybody know that know me and shit know that my uh, go-to is uh, it's fucking Romeo and Juliet. It's my definitely my go-to. And, <laughs> and uh yeah, Angry Principal started it by accident. He, you know, so that was like one of the few cigars that I started to smoke when I wasn't smoking uh, twelve packs from Walgreens. <laughs> <laughs> you actually smoking Switcher Sweets? And stuff? No, like, basically, I'm. Them. <laughs> I'm sorry that I disrespected cigars <laughs> so long in my life, dog. Like, yeah, really? let me let me get that pack of Trojans and the motherfucking <laughs> that twelve pack of <laughs> cigars. Over there. Right, the fucking Phillies. <laughs> my first cigar was a Switcher Sweet. Because I didn't know what I was doing, yeah. and I happened to be down the Virgin, I Virgin say, Islands, yeah. and I was like, I gotta smoke something. So hey, that, that's a question. That. So that was your first one. That was my first one. You remember your first one? Yeah, yeah, I remember my first one. <laughs> <laughs> it was that bad. Yeah, it, it, it was. It was pretty bad. I almost, uh, it almost didn't make it. Do you know what it was? <laughs> you remember what it was? I almost didn't, didn't make it. Yeah, it, it was a, um, it, it was New World, but it was the Maduro, mm-hmm. oh, okay. not the Connecticut. Oh, that bitch was yeah. strong. You know, I didn't know shit about cigars at all. Yeah, just smoking. You know, I'm just kind of smoking it, you know. And I'm thinking about, you know, Black and Mild, you know, cigar, Black exactly. and Mild, you know what I mean? Yeah, that was my first yeah. cigar, it's Black just, and Mild. I wouldn't even call it if Cigar Mild. Yeah. <laughs> but, you know, so I ain't held it a little bit. When I tell you I almost didn't make it, I almost didn't make it. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, literally almost, almost didn't make it. Didn't make it. <laughs> oh, yeah. God. Yeah, so my, uh, I don't remember the brand, but my very first one, aside from uh, Black and Mild, um, was a, a, like a 12-pack from fucking uh, Walgreens. It wasn't like, they wasn't Phillies and nothing. They was like cigar cigars, but they just was some bullshit. You know, that was back in the day. People would go to Walgreens and all those CVS and all that shit now, and they don't even sell cigarettes and tobacco and shit no more. <laughs> so niggas probably don't even know what I'm talking about because this was a long time ago. But yeah, I, I got like a pack of 12. I think it was like seven ninety nine. <laughs> All twelve and wait, wait, it get worse though. I used to smoke them motherfuckers, right? This big goofy long ass was this shit, right? I used to smoke them bitches, but then I would keep them in the fucking glove department in the car. So the, the shit just getting Damn stale and shit. Oh my goodness. No, I ain't know what I was doing. Nigga smoked that bitch two weeks later, nigga paper just flapping off. You feel me? Like the t- yeah. <laughs> crazy. I don't know. This And let me yeah. tell y'all folks this too, real quick. <laughs> if you find yourself on vacation, down in the Caribbean, on the beach, Mexico, whatever, and you see the dude on the beach selling cigars, they are not real. They're not they, Cubans. You're not about to get a Cuban, you know, uh, a case of Cubans for, for $25. It's not going to happen. I don't care what he say. <laughs> his cousin work at this person, know this person. They are not real. Okay? You, you, it's not going to happen. Okay? Do, do not buy cigars from the person on the beach. No, okay? so look. Because a lot of that shit is floor sweeping. So, you know, you don't know what the hell you're smoking in that motherfucker. No, so look, uh... Somebody had went out of town and brought me back a cigar and shit, right? So I'm like, uh, I'm like, bet, you know what I'm saying? That's motherfucking cigar and shit. Like, that's dope. Fucking Cuban and shit. So immediately, I took a picture of it and I sent it to Bo. I said, dog, what this look like? So he was like, dog, that shit fake as hell. Good like this. So he sent me all the, like, the, the reasons why it was fake. I'm reading the reasons. I'm looking at it like, God damn, this is fake as hell. Yep. You got to look at the labels and shit. And like, it's, it's just like anything else, when you authenticate it, you know, when people try to, you know, sell some yeah. Jordans on that shit. Yeah, exactly. Some things you got to look for. So I ain't want to hurt her feelings, so I ain't say nothing about it. I just told her, like, yeah, I smoked that bitch was fire and shit. I ain't smoked that motherfucker because he scared the shit out of me. He was like, nigga, you don't know what they sweeping up shit off the floor and putting it on. Like, I got nervous. Go, I threw that motherfucker away. You know, go to YouTube. And look at some of the fake videos. Look at some of the videos when people cut open those fake cigars and look at some yeah, of the shit that's inside shit. those fake cigars. Could you imagine smoking mm. that shit? Oh, man. And I guess 
with us, we've actually had a hand rolled cigar oh, yeah, for sure. right in front of us and then given to hand it to us and mm-hmm. smoke. And mm-hmm. once you go that route, mm-hmm. it's hard to say, I'm just gonna take some fake crap. Some fake shit, yeah, for else. sure. And once you actually have that genuine cigar that's been hand rolled in front of you, mm-hmm. yeah. man, it's hard. You you your your taste and your standards go so high. So high. Yeah. You so can't high. go back. It's just hard to do. So, so high. So that's why I love Miami. For sure. Yeah, shout out to I Miami. Said, oh, I, just, I love Miami. Aside and, and from the $60 you know beer. <laughs> and check out the cigar scene in Tampa. Tampa. Don't point. Don't if you get a chance, go check out Tampa. Cigar yeah. scene down there is, is, is dope. Yeah. Definitely dope. That's they got up. some old cigar factories back from like early 1800s still operating down there. Damn, you know what I mean? Yeah. Uh-huh. Hell no, I ain't know that shit. Um, on that note, that we're going to go around one last time. We'll just talk about the uh, drink real quick. Then we'll get out here and get ready for our live. Uh, since we did most of our live already, <laughs> sort of. But, but we went live. Y'all get to see that at some other point, though. All right, so real quick, though, uh, out of five and shit. Uh, obviously, I know Bo ain't never had this. Mm-hmm. Uh, so we'll go to we'll go to Square this time and shit, though. What you think? Out of five and shit, though, what would you give it? I guess more than three points. Probably about 3.2. 3.2? So not quite a 3.5, but better than a 3. 3.2, yeah. I got you. All right. Okay. I fuck with you on that and shit. Angry principal, what'd you say? Only because of nostalgia, and I'm thinking about the <laughs> great trip we had to D.C. when we first found Filibuster. Mm-hmm. I'm probably at that 3.5 going towards 3.75. That's yeah. probably where I am. Gotcha. Because this is a single barrel. This is a high proof. It's got the complexity. It throws you off because you smell it. There's not much there. But once you taste once it, you it's taste a flavor it. explosion. For sure. I really like the fact that it trips you up and tri- and, and turns you around on what, yeah. what you're asking for it to do. So I, I'm a fan of Filibuster. I just wish that it was here a long time ago. A long ago. time ago, for Symphony sure. Symphony of Flavors. There you go. Symphony of Flavors. No, it, it really is. And I have to kind of piggyback on that and say that. And what's truly amazing about it for real is the same thing that you just mentioned is that it's sneaky as hell. Like you're talking about 115 proof and you can't smell it. So like it's like it, you you figure once the shit get over 110, it's like all right, I'm gonna it's gonna hit me in the nose. Like it don't. So it might trick you. So you think you ain't drinking 116 or you know 115 point whatever, and then you fuck around and get drunk. <laughs> so, but I I like it because like I think it's got just enough flavor for it. Uh, and not like the like a gang of spice or char at the end to like ruin it. So like your flavor just keeps lingering. So I like that. Mm-hmm. Um, with the water, I don't think I don't think the water did much other than enhance the uh, like the the nose. I think everything else kind of tasted the same to me. Uh, with the smoke, it went well. I don't think it changed any of the the flavor profile though by smoking. Uh, and it's it's not over it's not overpowered. Something a little bit uh, like maybe a Maduro or something mm-hmm. a little bolder. Might have would have changed the taste a little bit, but with what I had, I don't, I don't think so. But still a, a good, you know, a good matchup. I would like to actually have something like this, and of course, you probably know what I'm gonna say, uh, fat bottom Betty, just because I like the sweet offset. <laughs> <laughs> I like the sweet offset. So now it'd be interesting to taste the ninety proof, the ninety two or whatever it is. That the one that we had, mm-hmm. uh, because that would be an everyday sipper. This yeah. one, yes, yeah, higher proof, but you could really get away with trying to sip this all the time because it is yeah. really that good. It, 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 it. It's a lot of flavor, though. It's a lot of flavor, yeah. and like I said, every time you sip something, it's going to be something mm-hmm. a little different from it. This is the, uh, I'll say that this, I won't, I won't say a close second, but I mean, obviously, you know, the first for, for me is Rare Breed. That's like the most flavorful that I've had, I think, to this point, probably, is the uh, Rare Breed. But I think this is, I think this is close, as far as like the, just the, fla- the different flavors that kind of jump out at you. Especially because I was just surprised, because I didn't smell any of the shit until I tasted it. So, I like it, dog. I would give it a 3.5. Um, I'm not ready to give away fours yet because, like, I saved all my fours for Bro Brothers and Uncle Nero. So, like, <laughs> like in order for me to say four, that's going to mean that I, I'm putting it on that same scale and, and I can't yet. Like, I, I can't do it yet. There's only one thing that was close to either one of those, and unfortunately, we can't drink that anymore. So, <laughs> <laughs> We, uh, it we was good, but I don't even think it was that close to like near or, 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 or Bro Brothers. It was though. it was close to Bro Brothers. Yeah, maybe, maybe yeah, closer to Bro Brothers than, than near us. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, for sure, yeah. certainly, certainly. So I will put this in with the rare breed category. That's what yeah, that's what I'm saying I will put for this sure. With rare breed, for sure. right there next to it at yeah. 115. Rare mm-hmm. breed is 116. 116. Yeah, I'll put it right there for sure. And it's uh, it's it's pretty smooth uh, for the proof that it is. But I can tell that it's working. <laughs> I can tell that shit working. So it's time to get up out of here and get to this live, man. I want to thank everybody who checked us out today. Again, if you're watching uh, on YouTube, make sure you hit that subscribe button so that you get a notification every time we go live. And if you're on iHeartRadio, Spotify, 
uh, iTunes or Google Podcast. Make sure you hit that subscribe button as well. So every time that we uh, upload, you can get notified and check out our shit and tell us if we wrong or right. <laughs> All right, till the next time, man. We about to get out of here and continue drinking. Uh, I got my man Square in the building again. Yes, sir. My man Classic Pothead holding it down. Y'all keep drinking. Ang- <laughs> Angry Principal holding it down. Uh, damn, that's good. Bourbon Guild on IG and drink what you like, how you like. My man Bo holding it down. I'll say. And, of course, man, it's your boy Q Lewis holding it down live from the 48205, man. Everybody loves BBW, man. It's beers, bourbon, whiskey. Peace out, y'all.